Homeschoolers of Reddit, what is your best culture shock moment? I was homeschooled for a few years and never even heard of a fire drill before. Then I went to public school and had a fire drill with no prior warning. Literally thinking in my little school kid head, taking in all this new social stimuli and freaking out that there's gonna be a giant drill made of fire that will come boring down at any moment. I don't think it's exactly culture shock but thought it was worth sharing. The day I wore a pink cheetah print sweatsuit, all white sneakers, and a high school musical t-shirt to school, and didn't understand why people were laughing. I had no concept of cool clothes, or even socially acceptable clothes. I was homeschooled from 3rd through 6th grade, and had just moved cross country from a very small town. I was 13 when this happened. I also didn't know how to open a locker. I'm still a bit odd, but a lot better adjusted. Going to lunch on my first day of middle school, 7th grade, went at the wrong time, ate alone, returned to an empty homeroom, then I cried in the front office. I feel so bad for laughing. Short shorts. Growing up every girl I met wore knee length shorts and I thought the super short ones were just something in movies. First day of high school I learned I was wrong. Not really a culture shock. But finding out the truth about so many things my mother told me growing up. The heat you feel when you rub your hands together are atoms being split. I don't think you realize what splitting an atom does, mother. I need to hear more of your mother's scientific knowledge. She sounds like a gold mine. I was homeschooled all the way until sophomore year of high school. That year was fraught with culture shocks. But one stands out in my mind. PE was my favorite class. I had always been competitive, and my years doing sports practically full time as a homeschooler prepared me well and I quickly rose to the top of the class. I excelled at all things, understanding the ins and outs of all the various sports we played, gradually shaving precious seconds off my mild times and whatnot. I was an unstoppable god, until the swim unit. Don't get me wrong, swim went well too, but afterwards, we were all told to hit the showers. I got out the pool. Pleased with myself for the longest time spent treading water and the fastest laps. I pridefully swaggered off to the boys locker room, stripped off my suit, hung it in the locker, grabbed my toiletries, and confidently strode towards the showers only to find that I was the only one naked. It was like something out of a nightmare. I was surprised by the fact that guys and girls talk to each other a lot just as friends. My parents were, and still are. The type of people who believe that all guys want is intercourse and all girls want is protection. So I was always nervous around guys in general before realizing that it was bulls. And that I wasn't a freak for wanting intercourse. I still get anxious when talking about crushes because it was never something I did as a younger kid. Also dances are confusing as heck. I went to public school for kindergarten in 9 12th grade. Besides that I was heavily isolated by whack job parents, not even allowed to go outside to the fenced yard. Yep, internet and TV were my teachers. I actually liked learning because I had no pressure to do so. Until high school, I was plunged into public school because my father was sure that I needed to graduate from a HS instead of homeschool. Many things shocked me, not just about school, but about people in general, as I had been practically under house arrest for so long. I had no idea you couldn't copy and paste from multiple sources and put it together in an essay. Big fat embarrassing F on that one, in front of the class. Biggest failure due to homeschool was that I thought I had to write down literally every word the teacher said during a lecture. So I completely stressed myself out trying to write insanely fast and get everything down in my notes. I did horribly in my classes until I learned from others how to take notes because during the whole class period I was just busily writing down everything, not learning the material. For me it was dissent. Just the concept that you were allowed to disagree with something. For me everything was presented in a black and white, a good or evil. When I got to college everything was a sea of grey. I had a similar reaction. Before high school, everybody I had ever encountered was a Christian and had the same set of beliefs that I did. I thought that my beliefs were obviously true, because that's how they were always presented. When I found out that people disagreed with me, it was incredibly shocking. I felt like I couldn't trust my own mind, and became obsessed with truth after that. Honestly it was a cursing for me. I grew up in a conservative home and was literally never exposed to cuss words except for my slightly drunk uncle Bill. 
Then I went to public school and I was all, what a crapping frick mister. Your tribe swears differently than most. A friend of my sister's is an unbelievably sheltered, very very homeschooled, extremely fundamentalist Christian in Sydney. One day, my sister and her friends were making jokes and talking, and one said you're so dirty SETC, I bet you shower naked to my sister. She laughed and they all started making the same joke to each other. Eventually, this poor sheltered lass had to put her hand up and say why is this funny? She showered in a swimming costume, as did her whole family, because nakedness is immoral. They asked how she cleaned herself. She got extremely embarrassed and refused to explain further because that would require talking about bare skin. This poor little dear, I want to hug the crap out of her. She's also never read in fantasy novels, because they imply that magic isn't a tool of the devil. She also has no idea what her vag is for. She's 16, as in, she literally doesn't understand how reproduction or periods work, because whenever she tries to ask her parents tell her off for immorality, I'm going to have to give that girl a where do babies come from book soon. My sister was the one who explained why girls need pads, and why her panties were always ruined at the end of the month. Okay great I've been waiting for this one for a long time. So I was homeschooled all the way through middle school and my mother was a super fundamentalist Christian conservative crazy person and told me my entire life about the liberal gay agenda trying to destroy God's word, the church, and turn me gay. Then I started going to high school halfway through freshman year. I was so worried about all of the godless and worldly kids that were going to try and turn me away from my good Christian upbringing, but I bravely gathered my stuff and went to my first day of public school. Unbeknownst to me it was spirit week, and not only spirit week, but Sadie Hawkins day. In our school this was a day where all of the students were allowed to dress up in costumes of the opposite genders essentially cross dressing. So here I am a little scared homeschooling Christian spelling bee champion walking around in this scary Alabama high school full of gender benders, crossdressers, transsexuals, and homosexuals trying to indoctrinate me. All the girls were in baggy jeans and shades or top hats and fake mustaches, while the boys were all dressed as ballerinas or certain pop stars with wigs and TP boobs. And of course they were all fricking with me. It was terrifying. Then I got back up the next day and stalwartly put on my armor of Christ, sword of truth, shield of righteousness, helmet of salvation, ect lol, and found the strength to prepare myself for this worldly assault on my principles. Then I got there and everyone was dressed like a celebrity and someone had the decency to tell me what spirit week was. Hilarious looking back on it but I did have a rattling culture shock. I called someone a muff monkey, thinking it sounded cute. I was at a wedding reception table. Very awkward. Recently had to explain to a homeschooled early college student that thunder thighs is not a compliment for the power and strength of a woman's thighs. I was unprepared for a lot of the high school social bulls. Didn't have any idea that bullies and cliques were a thing. Once I got to college though, nothing really shocked me. I mean, I had friends my own age. We watched TV. I did a fair amount of extracurriculars and my sister was into sports. Nothing was really all that shocking. One of my best friends always tells me that the first day he went to school everyone stood up and sang the national anthem. He proceeded to move his lips and think to himself, are we in a cult or something? My friend was homeschooled until she was 9 and since her mom wasn't exactly a teacher or saying she didn't learn to read until she was 10, she still doesn't understand basic social etiquette like how to eat like a human and when to shut up or how to control her emotions. She's 18 now and she somehow doesn't hate her mother. It might be Stockholm Syndrome. So many people smoke weed. Before I got my first job I always assumed it was just something big criminals did. That's just how it seemed. Since then, three years ago now, I've realized everyone I work with does, and that's okay. I had a friend in high school who was homeschooled for religious reasons until she entered high school. She quickly got over the culture shock by fricking everything that moved. I was shocked to find that people who weren't Christians were actually really nice. My parents always said things like don't let the world corrupt you because they are all doing drugs, having intercourse, and swearing. It surprised me when I found a group of people that still are the most loving and accepting friends I have ever had in my life. My church friends were always very judgmental and if you even thought or immoral thought they wouldn't talk to you. 
I am no longer a Christian today because of them. Not because they led me down the wrong path, but because they showed me more love than the church, or God, or my patents ever did. I wasn't homeschooled, but I was born in a small town and went to a private, very religious school for 10 years. Then I took a trip to San Francisco that fell on the weekend of the LGBT Pride Fest, and the first shop I set foot in sold vibes exclusively. Needless to say I live in San Francisco now. My ex was homeschooled up until high school. She said the biggest difference was the rigidness of the structure. When she was homeschooled, if they came up on an interesting tangent they'd pause the class and explore it. For example, between the end of the American Revolution in 1783 and the beginning of George Washington's presidency in 1789, who governed America? What exactly was happening inside the chrysalis while the caterpillar is changing into a butterfly? If there's a quadratic formula, is there a cubic formula, a quartic formula, a quintic formula? Also, when they got bored or tired and wanted a change of pace, they could switch to another subject. Can't to that in regular school. It wasn't one thing. It was a many year long process of discovering that I was carbon copy of my parents opinions world views. 12 grades of homeschooling made me a conservative, Christian, socially awkward person with exactly zero experiences that I could use to relate to people my own age. But heck, I could sure spout some close minded bulls. First I learned that my biology class had been made up of actual lies to support their religious agenda. That sent me on a knowledge binge that ended in my concluding that there is no credible evidence of any higher power. And I can't even fully enjoy that life choice because everyone assumes it's just rebellion. And from there it just cascaded. I had to rewrite all my opinions. Some stayed, but most changed to varying degrees. Thankfully my parents have accepted it which was surprising to me. I had to overcome social anxiety that homeschooling reinforced. It took 6 years of studying people and forcing myself to mimic them before I finally felt normal. Even now I've accept that I'll never 100% be able to relate to people my age. Although it gets easier as I get farther away from my childhood. I homeschooled from 2nd 11th. I went to the community college at 17 because I had a ton of high school level courses, mostly math, to catch up on. I wouldn't say there was a culture shock, I just didn't do great at first. Dealing with professors was something I caught on to pretty quick and the classmates were about what I expected since I did have friends. The major issues having a real education brought up were in the realm of science. The stuff I had at home was hardline creationist material so it was pretty different being in an environment where the conclusion wasn't given before we started looking. I was also very far set behind. I learned high school math from review classes which were very fast paced since they assumed we just didn't do well when we saw it before. At the community college my GPA was bad so I ended up at a pretty bad school for about 2 years. I eventually dropped out of the bad school with a 3.8. I dropped because the program was crap, went back to the community college and retook courses to get a 4.0 then got into a really good engineering school. Had I been given a decent high school education I would almost certainly have avoided that 3 year delay and ended up where I am now a lot earlier. I was homeschooled until I started college, and honestly, I never experienced any form of culture shock. I was kinda surprised by how some students would crap talk the profs who were just trying their best to teach a herd of grumpy freshmen, but other than that everything was business as usual. I know a lot of people don't believe this, but a lot of homeschooled kids share the same experiences as those who went to formal schools. Homeschooled from kindergarten through 12th grade, so bonafide homeschooler here, to be honest. The only thing that I was fairly behind in was in anything sexually related, like, embarrassingly so. To the point where I asked my adult cousin if she gave birth through her belly button. When I was 14. Ouch. Fortunately, I eventually discovered Urban Dictionary, and my embarrassing question ceased. In my defense, it wasn't entirely related to me being homeschooled, but more so to the fact that I was just an incredibly innocent individual, and when my friends would make a reference that went over my head, instead of helping me out a little, would simply smile and say, you're so innocent, you wouldn't get it, thanks. That's really it though. I had lots of friends and participated in sports and school events through the private school my homeschool group was a part of. 
To this day, when I mention that I was homeschooled, I get lots of shock looks and exclamations of, but you don't act homeschooled well, I have friends that are more innocent than me that went to public schools. So I think it is safe to say you really can't judge a person based purely on how they were educated. How little actual learning mattered. I was homeschooled almost my entire school career aside from kindergarten. 3rd grade and 4th grade but in high school I took some electives at an actual campus. Literally no one gave a frick about their studies. I had always paid extremely close attention to what I was learning and figured that was sort of the point. I had no idea there was such a huge emphasis on socializing. I'd come to class and people would want to hang out. I was like, what the frick for? I'm not here for fun. I'm here to get this class over with. Now that I'm older I can kinda see how I missed out on some of the more fun school stuff. On the other hand I didn't have to deal with buttholes. So there's that. I started going to school when my parents got divorced. Grade 4 for me. I remember just getting up and leaving to go to the bathroom then coming back and getting into a ton of trouble for not telling anyone. It was unfathomable to me that you had to ask to go to the washroom. I was homeschooled my whole life. I literally have no idea what the inside of an elementary, middle or high school looks like. I'm 22 and in college now but I can't really say there were any real culture shocks. I had normal friends because I was always in some kind of sport club activity with them as well as other homeschoolers. There is a lot of misconception and misinformation about homeschooled kids. People always assume I'm a religious, sheltered, socially awkward person because of it but I'm not. But just an average girl who started working a crappy job at a movie theater when I was 17 like all the other kids. I may not have a ton of friends because of it, but I love the ones I do have and I think I'm better off because of it. My parents chose to homeschool my siblings and I because they aren't fans of the American school system and didn't want our education to rely on an underpaid and overstressed teacher. I learned a lot about myself in terms of what my passions and goals are and got an awesome jump start on them due the extra time I had in my day. There's definitely a right way and a wrong way to do it. This happened to one of my brother's friends. John was homeschooled until 9th or 10th grade. They went out to a sports bar or something to eat. Everybody ordered dinner and John ordered steak fries for dinner. My brother's group of friends kept asking why he ordered steak fries for dinner. When the fries came, he immediately bit into one, got a confused look on his face, and broke another one in half. B but these are normal fries his friends started cracking up when they realized that he thought steak fries were fries filled with steak. Homeschooled or trapped in his home 24 stroke 7. I grew up being homeschooled. My parents were insane Christian right wing over protective sheltering nut jobs. I never went to a public school in my life. Now I'm not saying that my mom sucked at teaching. But okay yeah she did. She would give me a stack of books and be like learn. Okay. It wasn't quite like that but close. I learned absolutely nothing about school from my parents. And even less about life. When I was around 15 I started hanging out with people behind my parents backs. Yes. They were crazy enough to try to control who I made friends with. Anyway. I always felt left out and different because for the longest time I just couldn't even function in social settings. I would just find a corner to be alone. Cue loneliness and depression. I started cutting and tried to kill myself a couple times. At 16 my parents ditched me and moved out of the country. I got to get in 2 years later I'm still homeless. But I'm moving up. I'm a waiter and actually able to make conversation and act normal. Please parents future parents. Don't do this to your kids. You may think you're helping them. But you couldn't be more wrong. You have been visited by the fashion doggo. Comment your envy strengthens me so you always look beautiful. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.